The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the second letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. I am boasting because I have to. Not that it does any good, but I will move on to visions and revelations from the Lord. I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago, still in the body I do not know, or out of the body I do not know, God knows, was caught up right into the third heaven. And I know that this man, still in the body or outside of the body, I do not know, God knows, was caught up into paradise and heard words said that cannot and may not be spoken by any human being. On behalf of someone like that, I am willing to boast. But I am not going to boast on my own behalf, except of my weaknesses. And then, if I do choose to boast, I shall not be talking like a fool, because I shall be speaking the truth. But I will not go on in case anybody should rate me higher than he sees and hears me to be, because of the exceptional greatness of the revelations. Wherefore, so that I should not get above myself, I was given a thorn in the flesh, a messenger from Satan, to batter me and prevent me from getting above myself. About this I have three times pleaded with the Lord that it might leave me, but he has answered me. My grace is enough for you, for power is at full stretch in weakness. It is then about my weaknesses that I am happiest of all to boast, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. And that is why I am glad of weaknesses, insults, constraints, persecutions, and distress for Christ's sake. For it is when I am weak that I am strong. And our response is from Psalm 34. Taste and see that Yahweh is good. How blessed are those who take refuge in him. Fear Yahweh, you his holy ones. Those who fear him lack for nothing. Young lions may go needy and hungry, but those who seek Yahweh lack nothing good. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of Yahweh. Who among you delights in life, longs for time to enjoy prosperity? Guard your tongue from evil, your lips from any breath of deceit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said, No one can be the slave of two masters. He will either hate the first and love the second, or be attached to the first and despise the second. You cannot be the slave both of God and of money. That is why I am telling you not to worry about your life and what you are to eat, nor about your body and what you are to wear. Surely life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap or gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not worth much more than they are? Can any of you, however much you worry, add one single cubit to your span of life? And why worry about clothing? Think of the flowers growing in the fields. They never have to work or spin, yet I assure you, that not even Solomon in all of his royal robes was clothed like one of these. Now, if that is how God clothes the wildflowers growing in the field, which are there today and thrown into the furnace tomorrow, will he not much more look after you, you who have so little faith? So do not worry. Do not say, what are we to eat? What are we to drink? What are we to wear? It is the Gentiles who set their hearts on these things. Your heavenly Father knows you need them all. Set your hearts on his kingdom first and on God's saving justice. And all these other things will be given you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. The Gospel of the Lord.